Hi guys, this is Risa here. Welcome back to your channel, my channel. Welcome back to your weekly readings. I trust you guys had a wonderful week last week and had a great 11-11 yesterday. Keep in mind that that is a portal that opens up new channels to your guides, to your angels, to transformation that happens in your life one way or the other. You become more enlightened, more spiritual. You head towards that direction whether you uh, realize it or not changes do occur keep in mind that November is a is a month of balance it's a month of seeing what is just for you in your life and trying to head in that direction as it does represent the 11th card of the tarot which is justice and some decks it is strength so having the strength to move forward in your life where it becomes more balanced, more just for who you are, going in the direction that makes you happy. Today we're going to visit the energies that may affect us for the week of November the 12th through to the 19th. We're also approaching Thanksgiving, which is a time to be grateful for the things that are in our lives, to so the lessons, the people, the family, etc for everything that you consider a blessing in your life and you need to um, acknowledge it you need to state it you need to tell the universe that you're grateful for the wonderful things that have happened to you in your life for the wonderful people that have assisted you or that have helped you grow whether it's been painful or not it usually points you in the right direction to follow your life path whether it's a good feeling a rough feeling a very challenging situation or feeling but it all ends in the same place we all end home again at the beginning so that we can start again so it's just one big cycle if you guys would like a private reading with me check my links below or write to me at rises healing arts 11 at gmail.com or rises to row at gmail.com for the beginning of the week as I was shuffling, got a few cards that came out that kind of um, give me the impression that there are so many things that are happening for us as we approach the end of the year. There's so much planetary actions that are moving around that are going to be moving because Saturn is about to leave Sagittarius and it's going to enter into Capricorn, which will change um some things for us depending on where Saturn is in your chart. Jupiter has moved into I think Scorpio as well so there are some movements that are going to affect us because remember as above so below. So things may not be quite as clear as we would like them to be at this time. We may be uh, having to rely a bit more on a gut feeling on our intuition because things are not clear at the moment there are many things that we want to go after or we may have many dreams or plans or wishes that we have put out to the universe but again we can only follow one path we can only go in one direction and even though we may have many things that we desire it may be a little bit clouded at the moment as to which direction to take so what you need to do is kind of focus on one situation, on one path. Try to figure out which one it is that resonates with your heart, with your soul. Because that's really the only way that you're going to get past this time of confusion or this time of not being clear as to what you want. You may also be dealing with other people in your life that may not want the same things that you want or that may not be heading in the same direction so it's causing some type of a delay or some type of a block so you may have to deal with that at first to kind of clarify who's on your team and who isn't who are you going to team up with in order to move forward and find that path and then move along we also have the magician that came out on the table so along with the other two cards that came out the magician is telling me that you do have the power to take your life in your own hands and to Figure out what direction you want to go in and start taking the steps to move forward. The elements are lining up at this time in order to help you move forward. I see here at the bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is activity that happens very, very quickly. Messages that may come in that may throw you off balance that you're not expecting. This is also Jupiter 
in the background. So as Jupiter moves in or has moved into Scorpio, there may be some messages or some changes that happen rather suddenly because of that planet. That is also the planet of Sagittarius. So for those of you that are Sagittarius that listen to my channel, the fact that Jupiter has moved into Scorpio, you're going to be feeling very, very deeply some of the things that are, well, that are going to happen. But Jupiter is the planet that gifts Sagittarius. So there may be some gifts that come your way that are going to be very, very heartfelt. There's going to be some major changes. Saturn is moving out of your sign in the next month. So there's going to be some significant changes for those of you that are Sagittarius. So try not to let the changes throw you off balance even more than we are already because it's going to happen. This tells me that it's going to happen. It'll happen very fast. There may be more than one situation that happens at the same time, but as a Sagittarius, you guys should be able to stand your ground because we're very mutable. There are many, many things that we're desiring at this time. And this goes for everyone. I know you, you may think, oh, you're only talking to Sagittarius. I'm talking to everyone, but Sagittarius is feeling a lot of this as well because there's a lot of planetary actions that are going in their sign right now because the sun is fixing to move into Sagittarius and all the other planets, a lot of them are already there or they will be affecting that sign. So sorry if I'm kind of veering off a little bit into the Saggies, but I know that I have a lot of people that are Sagittarius that listen to me and they're going through a lot of changes at this time. So I had to focus just a minute on them, okay? Because there is either an Aquarius or an air sign in your life that could be a little bit um, confused at this time as to what they want. They may be going through a period as well that's not very clear, so you either have to assist them or they're going to interrupt whatever plans you have going on there. Sagittarius, so be aware of that because you do have a lot of situations that are going on that you're trying to manifest, but with people around you that are not clear on the direction that they want to take, they, it may interfere on your plans, and a lot of things are going to happen in a hurry. So keep that in mind. You do have the energy right now to manifest the things that you want. So you can move forward. Just keep in mind that, you know, try to keep your bearings about you. And that goes for everyone, okay? I'm not just talking to Sagittarius. This, this is energy that's happening to all of us as we're approaching the end of the year. All right, so let's see what our week has in store for us. Now that I've got that out of the way. beginning of the week we have some cards that are showing for us that um, that show that we have put out a lot of good work out there where our work is concerned a lot of people do notice that you do do a good job and there's going to be some movement forward when it comes to your job okay you need to be strong and you need to keep your emotions under control because there may be others at work that will help you to move forward let me get all the cards out here first and then find out what what we have okay I'll pull one card is an overall all right and the sun's at the bottom of the deck oops <laughs> the sun and the fool so there's new beginnings that are going to be um, affecting us guys between now and the end of the year because there's there's several major arcana cards. As always, I get a lot of major arcana cards when I do my readings. So it tells me that spirit always, always has a big hand in what happens in our lives. And since we're always meditating, praying, and asking for help, there's no way that we can co-create anyway on our own because it's doomed to fail. If we try to do things on our own, eventually it falls apart so that you learn to co-create with spirit. So that tells me that Spirit does have a big hand in what's happening to us this week. We're going to feel a little bit confused not knowing which direction to take, not knowing what the best choice for us is. We may have more than one choice, more than one thing that we're uh, trying to do, but we haven't learned how to split ourselves in half and go in two different directions yet. That doesn't mean that in the next lifetime we won't be able to do something like that. Um, but right now, we have more than one choice on the table, and we're not really sure which direction to take, hence the confusion of the Seven of Cups, which there's many dreams, not daydreams, but we can't do them all. We have to just focus on one path, and once we do that, 
then the confusion of the Two of Swords should clear up, and then perhaps the energy will propel us forward, like the Eight of Wands is showing here. The creative energy that moves forward, that's gifted from the universe, and helps us move along. Right, at this moment we are stuck. <clears throat> We're stuck like the Queen of Swords, not knowing which way is up. This way she's very clear and very logical on what she does. She calls others to her to help, or for her to help them. But right now, the clarity just isn't there in which direction to take. And you do want to manifest a certain direction because of the magician. And the energy is there in order to manifest a new direction in your life. There are some talents that you do and you do very well. Your work as well is very highlighted with the three of coins. It shows that other people are assisting you or you're teaming up with others, a group at work, in order to move forward. You could also be teaming up with other people where your talents are concerned in order to move your life forward. Then you have the chariot that tells me that you have the ability to move, if that is what you're hoping to do. You are very talented and you can help others get it together in order to move forward. This could be just you deciding to move your life forward. You have the talents, you have the ability, you have the elements that are all lining up in your life in order for you to gain some clarity and move your life forward in the direction that you want it to go. You also have the strength at this time in order to do it, whether you believe it or not. You have a lot of control over your emotions at this time. You're being able to keep them under control, under reins, which the chariot represents that. It's a very triumphant card, and so is strength. You're overcoming your, you're overcoming your own emotions. You're overcoming your anger. You're overcoming your outbursts. You're, you're being able to pull yourself together a bit more and focus that energy in the right direction, forward, moving your life forward in, in a good direction, in a very triumphant direction where you're going to feel that you have accomplished some things. And the strength card says that you have it in you in order to do so. Okay? There may be some people that you are taking care of. There may be someone that's ill in your home. Someone may need to visit a hospital. You may know some people that are in the hospital. You may be wanting to slow the energy down at some point because perhaps all of this fast movement, it's okay for some, but there may be others that you take care of or others that are ill or others that depend on you that need the energy to be a little slower, okay? The Four of Swords represents laying down your your all your struggles and your thoughts and taking a break because it tells you to be patient that some of this stuff that you want to manifest is fine and dandy and you will be able to manifest it because of your talented um, demeanor and personality and because you can because the energies are are right for you to do it but there are certain elements about your plans and about the things that you want to do that are not ready to manifest yet you have to be a little bit patient and you have to notice details because sometimes we're in such a hurry to make things happen in our lives that we miss a very important detail that later sets us back and really um, puts a damper in your plan so this card here is a card to hang up your thoughts hang up your struggles hang up all the discussions and things that you're doing at this time and take a break because rest and relaxation is being highlighted before all of this take off because there's something about the stability there's something about laying down foundations there's something about your foundation that needs to be looked at there is a detail you're missing there's something about the foundation that needs a rest needs a break there's someone that could be ill that you need to focus on at this time before you do all of this other stuff that you're wanting to do within a month's time or so around December, perhaps the latter part of December, there's going to be some movement forward because you're going to find that something is missing in your life. There's something emotionally missing. There's a, an, an open situation. There's an open hole here for the ninth cup. The ninth cup is a wish. There's something that you've put out to the universe that you're hoping to achieve, something emotional that hasn't manifest yet. So you are going in that direction. You're starting to follow your guidance to find that ninth cup, that wish that you have put out to the universe that will fulfill you more emotionally than you are at this time. 
So in about a month's time, that energy is going to start to manifest because you have the Queen of Wands right next to it. That means that the things that you're hoping to manifest in your life, the emotional stability or the emotional situation that you're trying to manifest will start to manifest because you're going to use your creative power in order to achieve it. This also represents the sign of Sagittarius or any fire sign. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. There may be a fire sign that assists you or this is your own energy manifesting because the Queen of Wands is the one that can manifest desires, manifest from fire, from her energy, manifest the path that she wants to take. You are emotionally unstable. You, you're you not realizing that there are opportunities that are coming your way or that the universe is gifting you an opportunity because you're thinking about the past. You're thinking about other times when you were more emotionally happy, when you were celebrating your life, when you had other people in your life that made you happy. And at this time, they're not there anymore or that situation is gone so you're hoping for it to come back and the universe is going to gift you a new opportunity. But if you're not careful, you're going to miss it. So be aware of the opportunities that are coming into your life. Stay focused because right on top of that is the Eight of Cups where you're going to start reaching out to that emotional stability or security that you are looking for. There's something that's missing in your life and you're going to get it. You're going to go after it because here's the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is communication that you receive from someone that is younger that may throw you off balance. Maybe a younger uh, person, a child, or someone that you know that's a bit younger than yourself that gives you a message that's going to be uncomfortable. There's a message of spying also because someone may be um, looking into your life or spying on you or you yourself begin to look for another direction and start to investigate. This is a very investigative mind little page where they're using their thoughts and they're using, they're cutting through the fog in order to start to look for a new path and it's facing out. So it's something that you're going to take your life in your hands and you're going to start looking for places to go or a new experience that you want to find, either a new emotional experience or finances. Here you have the Queen of Pentacles in the middle of the reading. So an earth sign may become very, very important to you as you move forward this week or as you start to make your plans between now and the end of the year to move your life forward. The Queen of Pentacles, she's very organized. She's very loving and giving. You yourself may become very giving, sharing of your wealth with others. Or you may meet someone or know someone that helps you with property if you're trying to move from one place to the other. You do have the movement cards here. So some of you may be planning on moving or maybe wanting to move, okay? Because these cards here are telling me that you want to move. You There's a place you want to go to or a place you want to move to. And there may be a, an earth sign that assists you with that, with the property move with the paperwork with helping you get there and then you have the king of pentacles as well so there'll be a pair two people that assist you with that one will have a female energy the other will have a male energy this one here may be a lender or maybe someone that has property or money or lends you the money or it could be a banker both of these could be people that have property, that sell property, that help move the energy forward for you or someone that you can talk to or ask about a move. Since you're looking to move and you're going to become very investigative where that is concerned, you're going to start doing your homework, start research, which is the word I was looking for, research with this card. You know, but it's the very beginning of it because it's a page, okay? And you're going to be asking others and you're going to find out the best way to move forward because then here you have your six of swords which is movement from a place where you're not very happy to a place where it's more peaceful remember we had the sun and the fool at the bottom of the deck so it's new beginnings across the board new beginnings that make you happy that make you feel like a child again so we do have some really powerful cards for this week or between now and the end of the year because of all the major arcanas that tell me that this is long-term energy that's coming about spend time alone 
in nature meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective because of the energies that are ending and the ones that are coming in. You need to spend time alone so that you can get your clarity back. So that you can bring this card upward again. You know, so get that clarity so you know what direction to take, what dream of yours is time to manifest. Because we all have many things that we want in our lives, but we can only manifest one at a time. Because that's just the way it is. Sometimes a couple things fall in our lap, but that's co-creating with the spirit. We can't do everything that we want at the same time. You're being asked to shoot for the stars. Keep your dreams in focus. Know which one you want to focus on and go in that direction. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise what you want to please another. Because then you'll be unhappy, they'll be very happy, and you'll be wondering, what the hell did I just do? Why did I focus on someone else's dream when I could have focused on mine and maybe make everyone happy? That's the trick when we co-create with spirit. If we don't betray ourselves, spirit steps in and helps us help ourselves and everyone else involved because sometimes people are always thinking of, you know, the group and not just themselves. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. So continue forward in the plans that you have people. You just need to kind of focus on what it is you want and then go in that direction. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way that you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayers, and meditation. You guys need to practice as well so that you can gain some clarity. Your third eye can, can use the assistance. And for all the new plans that you're trying to birth, you have assistance from your angels. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during the changes. So you're not alone. Your guides are there. Your angels are there. Keep moving forward. Some of you are pregnant. You're about to have a child. Congratulations. Some of you are going to become pregnant. And your angels are guiding you. They're there to protect you. Have patience as you move forward because you are ending a cycle and beginning another one. Sometimes people move too quickly and it hurts them. You have to slow down, be very patient. Remember the Four of Swords. It's telling you to take a rest. You also got the Four of Cups, which is telling you to focus. Move your head and your thoughts away from the past and put them in the present. Because something is being gifted to you, an opportunity, you need to go with that. And once you're done with that one, then you can move on to the next stage. It's, it's steps, like a ladder. You must take one step before you can get to the other. If you skip one, you're going to be sorry. Now is the time to learn and study, gather information, enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. So it's time now to gather your information, just like the little page of swords was saying. Research, look around, poke around, ask questions because later on you will use that energy or all the knowledge that you are getting now in order to move forward. Know that I love you. Have a blessed week, and I will talk to you again next week. We're getting really, really close to Thanksgiving, and it's a beautiful time of the year here in the States, people, for gratitude. Every day this morning, wake up. Every day this week. In the morning, wake up. That dyslexia really gets to me. Um, and be grateful. Pray a little prayer, you know, to your angels, your guides, the divine. And thank them for everything in your life. And see how the energy starts to change and become more positive as your day moves forward. Blessings. Bye for now.